While many people find Sen. Elizabeth Warren's deep policy knowledge to be an asset in the 2020 Democratic race, the conventional wisdom around her candidacy has been that she is not as electable as some of her opponents, most notably a former Vice President Joe Biden. Why this has coalesced as the consensus opinion isn't entirely clear, but it seems to stem from consideration of at least three main factors, comparisons to Hillary Clinton. The long saga surrounding her heritage and her ill-advised choice to take a DNA test, and her relatively unimpressive approval rate in her home state of Massachusetts. Advertisement President Donald Trump has become flexated on the heritage issue, mocking her with a racist use of the name Pochahontas because she has said she has Native American heritage. He has previously even expressed regret at using this insult too soon, apparently assuming he should have saved it for a hypothetical general election campaign against her. I should have saved the Pocahontas thing for another year because that destroyed her political career, and now I won't get a chance to run against her. Trump said in March. I don't want to knock out all of the good stuff and wind up with somebody who's actually got talent. But New York Times reporter Maggie Haberman noted Tuesday night that, despite Trump's confidence, others in his circle actually fear her potential candidacy. The person who some Trump advisers sound worried about in last few weeks is Warren. They don't share POTUS conviction he can hate tweet her away, and see her ability to capitalize on the populist outsider energy he ran on in 2016 and has tried to recreate despite holding office. https colon slash slash t.co slash t1zzq1 amcudi maggie haberman at maggie on it september 3rd 2019 advertisement in my view this is entirely right Of course, predicting an election more than a year out and before the nominees have even been selected is always misguided, and anything could happen. But Warren clearly has crossover appear on some of the issues that Trump supposedly tried to champion in 2016, trade, anti-corruption, employment security. Even Fox News host Tucker Carlson has noticed. The difference is that Warren is actually sincere about wanting to champion the working class, and she has the intelligence to know how to do it. Whether she could actually convince voters of this is another story. But Warren is powerful on the stump and has proved a formidable competitor on the Democratic debate stage. And, at least to my ears, she comes off at least as authentic as other top-performing politicians. Advertisement could the Pocahontas smear stick? Maybe. And maybe it will hurt her chances of getting the nomination. But it's hard to believe people wouldn't get tired of it if this name calling was Trump's primary bludgeon during the campaign. Even if you find the attack funny, jokes get old. And voters do care about actual issues. Democrats rightly fear that the candidate could have a flaw that weighs them down as the email scandal did with Clinton in 2016. Not as overblown as that issue was, it at least tied into both national security issues and an ongoing criminal investigation at the time. Questions about Warren's heritage will hardly seem important when facing the chance of another four years of Trump. Trump will try to use Warren's past claims to paint her as insincere and phony, but she's a powerful enough advocate for workers and consumers to combat this attack, and she less of a predefined quantity than Clinton was. As the incumbent, Trump has many structural advantages that could still come to his rescue. But defeating Warren would likely be a much tougher challenge than he believes. Advertisement enjoy this piece, then let us make a small request.
Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David E.K. Johnston's DCR Eport, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and legal efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We've launched a weekly podcast, We've Got Issues, focused on issues, not tweets. And unlike other news outlets, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. We're not part of a conglomerate, or a project of Venture Capital Brothers. From unflinching coverage of racism, to revealing efforts to erode our rights, Raw Story will continue to expose hypocrisy and harm. Unhinged from billionaires and corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Click to donate by check. Enjoy this piece, then let us make a small request. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David E.K. Johnston's DCR Eport, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We've launched a weekly podcast, We've Got Issues, focused on issues, not tweets. Unlike other news sites, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. We're not part of a conglomerate, or a project of Venture Capital Brothers. Fun flinching coverage of racism, to revealing efforts to erode our rights, Raw Story will continue to expose hypocrisy and harm. Unhinged from corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Report typos and corrections to email protected. Let's blog ads. Why?